Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Wild World, where we left off. The Flower Fest was rigged, and now we're just going to see what we can get done today. At the very least, we will get a letter from Red telling us the password. So, yeah. That'll be nice. <laughs> Haven't seen Pascal in a while. Kind of want to see him again. He's my homie. Alright, what do we got here? Let's see. Yeah, the password is means no fun. That, no fun allowed. Oh, what did mom send me? I really wish your dad would eat more because it always seems we have leftovers. I'm out of containers. Mom. And bones, what'd you get me? Sorry for my handwriting, my hand was asleep. This doesn't agree with my belly. You take it. Bye. Was he trying to eat something? What were you trying to eat? A stadio meter? I don't even know what that is. That sounds like a bunch of gibberish. Poor bones, just trying to eat everything that he can, no matter the cost. Anyway. Today was Vesta's birthday. Oh! I'm not gonna make it. No. That was just way too far in. That's what annoys me so much, dude. The balloons are always at the very top of the town, and there's nothing I can do about that. Like, why? What the hell is up with that? Anyway, we got a poltergoid. That's pretty cool. I always like the poltergeist ones. Alright. Uh, any luck with flowers recently? I'm not seeing any. What the hell is my cat doing? <laughs> <laughs> she is just trying to climb everything. That is not a surprise. Okay. Uh. Are you? Another gyroid. A mega bow toy. Seriously, though, that. This stuff was rigged. Margie wasn't even here when it started. <laughs> like, she moved in, like, at the very end. Her house wasn't even finished until that. Anyway, what the hell is a studio meter? I want to see what this is real quick. And afterwards, I'll, uh... Do something special. What? Is this like a medical thing? Like, I... Hold on, I want to look this up. Alright, I'm back. It is a hospital thing. Okay. We're gonna head down. Just, that tugs at my heartstrings, dude. For real. Oh well. Nothing we can do about that, really. We're gonna go see what the Abel Sisters got for us today. Not much, actually. I like that hat, but it's not the shark, okay? The shark looks cool. Uh, that pink shirt is pretty cute, though. Okay. Nothing of particular interest. Let's go... Oh, there was a potential fossil or gyroid. I'll get it after this. 
Let's go upstairs. What do you got? Whoa, that's a big ass table. Oh, I gotta get the doghouse for for bones. I have to. I really need to. Yeah, we're getting him the we're getting him the doghouse. Yep, we're gonna get him the doghouse and we're gonna mail it to him. Because he doesn't really have anywhere to sleep. So. <laughs> Hey, buddy. You need a place to sleep. Please take this. <laughs> I think he'll like it. It'll be cozy for him. I'm just saying, it's a thought that counts, okay? some stationery real quick actually. We've used leopard paper before I think. Card paper? Hmm. Maybe. What else? Bejeweled? Oh I gotta get bejeweled. Oh man that is a banger game. I don't care if it's not actually the game itself. That's funny, but mm, I love Bejeweled, dude. That's that was one of my favorites growing up. Such a fun little puzzle game. Candy Crush has nothing on that shit, okay? <laughs> Candy Crush has nothing, nothing on it. Yep. All right. Bye. What is my cat do? What are you doing over there? <laughs> I might have to let her out to run around for a bit. Who knows? That had me nervous. I was worried I would get rid of the white rose. And that would have made me sad. Okay. Uh, let's go check the beach then. What is with my cat? She just keeps doing stuff. <laughs> I know that's pretty vague, but <laughs> she just keeps like going to the top of my bed, scratching on some on the uh, bed frame. Oh shit, what are they talking about? My shoulders have been so tight lately. Oh, Pecan, you too? My shoulders have been killing me too. Yeah, see, you never know when someone's looking at you. That's why you gotta be smiling and strike a pose at all times. So I guess tight shoulders are inevitable when you're this fabulous. Actually, for me, I don't think it's that at all. I'm not that fabulous, see? It's probably more... It's probably more because I slouch and sigh all the time, Tootie. Aww... Margie... Has she been depressed for a while? Maybe that's why she won. It was a pity prize or something, I don't know. But, 
Oh, Margie. There's no need to be so sad. Alright, let's go to my cat staring at me at my desk. <laughs> We got a fossil to check. What is it? Oh! Oh, that's something we don't have! I thought we already had that, but no. We need the patchy torso. Is that the last one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes! It is! It's the last thing we need for this thing. Awesome! Yes! The pet Cephalos. What? What? What is that word? Oh my god, I actually pronounced it right. Jesus, how did I do that? Patchy Cephalosaur. Wow. I must tell you that a smidgen about the Patchy Cephalosaur. This unique creature was one of the last dinosaurs to roam the Earth. What? Though it is known primarily for its round head, it was basically all bone. There was hardly a brain to speak of inside. These brain boggling dinos never cease to amaze me. Whew, so intriguing. Oh my, terribly sorry. I babble. I must wonder if I have a brain in my head. Yes, sir. Alright. Awesome. Finally, we've been, like, starving for a new one. Do we need that? Oh, so close. Oh, well. I can't be too upset. We got one more set complete. That makes me really happy. Okay. I'll uh, go back to Blathers in a I'll go back to Blathers in a moment. First, I want to fix this real quick because I do not want these flowers mishmash together. So, I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to put the other tulip right over here. I'm going to get those two uh, cosmos to match as well. It'll be but a moment. We just grab and grab. Okay. I will place the- what the fu- Oh my god, she's messing with Gengar. <laughs> okay. I gotta get her out, uh, out of my room to play around real quick. I'll be back. That was kind of funny though, not gonna lie. She thought my uh, Mega Gengar plush is a toy. I don't blame her. She doesn't have a lot of toys around, and we need to fix that. We got one more gyroid, and now we just need the other fossil if we can find it. I thought that was it. Okay. How's Ruby doing? Is she okay? Yeah, she seems alright. Let's chit chat. 
Well, good luck with that, because I don't think I saw any in Tom Nook's store. Unfortunate, but it's not my problem. Anyway, back to Blathers for the last fossil of the day. Yes. Check this one out. Okay, I figured. At least we got one set complete today. About time. Alright, let's go. Let's get ourselves some coffee. Usual. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, ASMR time. <clears> hot, <throat> hot, hot, hot. Ah, what flavor, what a feeling, but who knew coffee could get this hot? Mm. No problemo. Anyway, let's get going. We got some stuff to sell. First, I'm gonna go check on Pierce to see if he's still sick or not. He should be fine by now. He's fine! Thanks for hooking me up the other day. You're so rockin', here's a little token of appreciation. Ranch flooring. How nice. You are my hero! Hero. I want to be called that too. Aww. Alright, do you want to say anything else? Macaroni and cheese may be the best food ever. Although Waldor Waldorf Sa- what? <laughs> Waldorf Salad. Hold on, I'm looking this up. I have never heard of that before. Okay. That is oddly specific, but I guess it makes sense, since you know he's a jock, he wants to stay in shape. Not to mention, macaroni and cheese can be pretty filling. Anyway, how's Buck doing? What's he up to? <gasps> no! What are you doing, dude? Big sit-up tournament? What? Looks like it's gonna be an epic journey, so I'm gonna go ahead and move. Oh. Oh my god. I, I'm, I'm sad too. Please. That can't be. It's got things I gotta do too. No! <laughs> That can't be. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't want him to go, dude. He's helped me out so much. <laughs> This town's gonna be a little emptier without him, dude. <laughs> He's done so much work. It's gonna break my heart when he's gone.
Ugh, news. Hey, Rasher. Oh, thanks, dude. Well, I'll show Rich who's boss. And I know just how to show it to him. But first, I want to hang out with all my friends. I don't want it. I don't want him gone, dude. Buck's like my best friend. <laughs> For real, like... In fact, I think he was the first person to give me his picture. If I remember right. I would have to look back, but... Even if he wasn't, he's helped me out so much. Bones! Oh, he has Vesta's catchphrase! Oh my god, today is just depressing. <laughs> Not only is it Vesta's birthday, but Buck wants to move out. Hey Margie, you feeling better? Alright, well, I'm glad you're into fashion. Fuck, why? Why do you want to move? It means so much that he wants to dedicate his crunches to me, though. Like... We've both been special to each other, you know? Like, that's crazy. He didn't have much time in my GameCube town, but he's been here for a long time. Up to this point. Having him return was cool because I honestly like his design. I think he's pretty funny looking. And he ended up being an MVP for this series. Like, I gotta respect that. Where did Pecan go? I need to talk to her. I should have talked to her, actually. Oh well. Not a big deal. But I saw her for a second. I know those are just flowers. Let's work on the money rock real quick before I grab more shells. But yeah, Buck has been awesome for the entire series, you know? Helped me through a bunch of this crap. And now he's gonna disappear. Like, why? That is lame. That is so oh, what are they talking about? Oh. Well, good thing I already spoke to him. Uh. I should get a tree down there. But I want it to be a fruit tree. There we go. Ugh, the hitbox is so wide. Oh well, we got the money rock. But yeah, in honor of... of, uh, Vesta, since today's her birthday, 
I'm going to make a design today. It's not going to be anything related to her, but I just want to make something. Just something that I think she would have liked. And I know I would like it. <laughs> so. Let's go check the recycling bin here. We got nothing. We're going to go check the regular mail here. Alright. Maybe that's why Buck wants to move. He also wants to go back to Vesta. I don't blame him. Like whether it's for big tournament or anything like that. I want that man to succeed. He deserves it. Hey, Pecan. Well, too bad I already sold them. Okay. Let's go check the lost and found. Okay. I'm out of here then. We will... Water some stuff then. So let's go water whatever is wilting at my little garden here. None of my roses have wilted, so that's nice. Alright, let's work on these tulips. And, huh, that was it. Alright, cool. Alright, well. I guess that's about all I can do. So, I'm gonna go get a balloon real quick. <laughs> Gotta love that timing, dude. Every time I'm in the middle of a something, there's a balloon. Every single time. And it makes up for the one that I missed. Because the game was just cruel with the timing. A ranch tea table? I'm assuming that's part of the ranch series. Either way, I've never heard of that. Alright, let's go check the Able Sisters, because we are going to make a design. I want to design. Yes. Alright. In honor of Vesta... I'm going to do something special for her. Alright, let's begin this wonderful little design here. Okay, I will start right about here. Uh, right there. Yep, that looks right. Okay. Oops. 
Like the tricky part is wanting to get a design that, you know, fits her, like getting a Pokemon that fits her, but also is from Hoenn. Because I want it to be specifically Hoenn Pokemon. For obvious reasons. So, yeah. But I got something to work here. thing here. The colors for this are pretty much perfect too is the best part. I got a lot more to work with than I did with Gulpin. Okay, so I need this, that's that's that. And if you guys are playing along you can obviously use this if you want to make some sprite art of Pokemon. So yeah, you can do that while what, like uh, using this as a guide. I don't mind. You guys can do it. Okay. Then right there. Yeah, that looks right. And then... Oops. A little too far off. What generation of Pokemon is your guys' favorite? I'm honestly torn between Gen 2 and Gen 7, actually. Might be a little bit of nostalgia bias, because I grew up with the anime, and the Gen 7 games were my second time playing the Pokemon games, because we didn't really have a Game Boy or a Game Boy Advance, so... I didn't actually get to try out anything handheld until I got to uh, the 3D games. And I like X and Y, they're pretty cool. I like all the Pokemon they introduce. It's just, you know, the story's boring to be honest, it really is, I'm sorry. Okay, well, now I just gotta do some outlining here. I'm gonna start right here. I know a friend that really loves this Pokemon. I don't blame her, cause I love I love this Pokemon too. We're doing Altaria, by the way. Altaria is such a cool design. It is so adorable. And yeah, we are working on that. So we are going to do. Where am I going to put this? Okay, right here. There we go. Uh, right there. gonna get rid of that because I don't really have a lot of options but it's still a lot more options than any other game 
like any other sprite I had to do, so yeah. Uh, let's see, where do I... Okay. Well, now I think it's time that we color this in, so... Let's start with the dark blue. Oops. This is the darkest blue I can get, so I, get, I just gotta work with it. to the outline here. Whoops. That's my bad. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, any more dark blue? Yes. I think that's all the dark blue that we need, so now we're gonna go for the lighter, uh, slightly lighter blue. Okay. And then mm. right there. And there. There as well. Bam, bam. Oh, there was some dark blue I need to put in. My bad. Uh, where do I put that? Hang on, let me put some gray in there as well. There we go. And I gotta put it there. Okay, now back to light, slightly lighter blue. We gotta put it here, here. Just gotta put it all in this color here. And then a little bit in the second one. I believe it goes right there. Yep. Okay. And now, is that all? I think so. Looks like it. Okay. Let's get this out of the way because it's the only super light one. Now for the lighter blue. This is just the rest of the stuff I didn't fill in. go. I believe we are done here. Let me look around. You know what? I'll add a bit more depth to this real quick. Just to make it look a little bit better. Oh, hold on. I forgot to add this here. There we go. Yeah, let me add a little more detail here. this look nicer? Let me see. Mm, yeah, I guess. Let me work on the background to help it look a little nicer. Mm. 
Yeah, I think it looks a little nice like that. Uh, I think that's about it for this one. I think I got all the detail that I wanted to add. I'm just double checking to make sure. Yeah, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of options to make it look any better. Hold on. Let me see what other... I already did an orange. It's in the blood of its enemies. Uh, nah, we're gonna stick with the, with the blue. Okay, we got Altaria. I think, considering the limitations I got, I don't think I did too bad. Let me just fill this in. And voila! There it is! We got Altaria. It looks lovely. I think I did pretty good. Alright. It was... Formal. Refined. I call it... Altaria. No. And then we're gonna go show Rich who's boss. Stupid donut pattern. No, I don't. Get out of here, Rich. Nice little design. Okay, well, I believe we're done here. Let's wrap this video up. Next time on Wild World, we will be back tomorrow and see what happens. Hopefully, Buck will change his mind. If not, I understand. So, yeah, with that in mind, we'll also have Red and... That's about it, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys then.